Today you can play with a real-time holodeck. How cool is that? Well, sort of. Hello my friends and how are you doing? You might know that World Labs have put a ton of research in how to generate AI worlds in real time with endless memory. And today they are showing their example of the real time frame model that they are presenting. So you can try that out. I will put a link under the video, but let's check out some examples they show on the website and then talk about how this works, why this works, and especially why is this so important? Let's get started. So here we can see some pretty amazing examples of how this can look different rooms and I want you to pay attention to the different details in here. Not just that this is an AI generated world, but look at the reflections you can see in the videos, the light, the shadow, also the different artistic styles that are generated here. And while looking around in the room, while moving around in the room, new perspectives are generated and the memory is kept. So when you turn around, you see the exact same thing, no matter if you have been there for a minute or for five hours, it's endless memory. And that is really the beauty of this, to explore a world and it stays consistent afterwards. So you're probably asking, where can I try this out? And I will put the link, this link here under the video so you can try that. There is multiple rooms here you can try. So there's no prompting at the moment, but you can look around in them freely with your mouse. You can use your keyboard to move around here, get closer to objects. Well, that was a little bit too close, but as you can see, I can look around up and down 360 view like in a video game and you can see I can walk back here, of course. Look at how the perspective also outside is changing when I move around. It's not just a texture on a window. You can actually look outside and the outside is changing. But when I turn around to look at what we've seen before, you can see the exact same desk. You can see the exact same books. Everything here stays the same. And that is basically the beauty of this model. But a lot of research has flown into this to make that happen. So try that out. There's a lot of rooms in here. You get three minutes a pop, but then you can just reload the website and you will get another three minutes. So if you want to, you can spend hours in here exploring these different demos and as you can see, they are really, really cool to explore and get to feel this new world. Now let's talk a second about why all of this is so important. So they have also here a block entry where I talk about the progress that they have made, but also the details on how this is so important. And one of the most important things here is the efficiency. And one thing that's really cool about this is that all of that is running on a single H100 GPU. Now that is still $25,000, but keep in mind that hardware is getting cheaper and cheaper all the time and AI models are getting more efficient. So this is just for their research, but still it is very impressive to be able to run something like that in real time on a single GPU. So that is pretty amazing. Now, another thing they talk about here is that usually when you generate these images in real time, it takes a lot of tokens. So basically every second you need 100,000 tokens. It's about the length of the first Harry Potter book for generating the image and that's a lot. And over time of course this stacks up because you want to have the memory when you go back to the places. So it can be well over 100 million tokens over time and that is just not feasible. It's not something you can do. So they came up with a new method. They call this context juggling. Now this is a actually very genius method. So when we look at the videos here, you can see the cameras moving around from all kinds of directions. And usually what it would need to do is to keep all of the data generated in real time in a memory and the memory is growing bigger and bigger and bigger over time. So instead, what they are doing is every time a image, a frame is generated, 
it is memorizing the position and the viewing angle of that frame. So basically it's tracking a virtual camera to give you a visual image of that. And then it is basically cataloging all of these frames. So when you come back to a place you have visited before, what it does is it looks at the adjacent frames. So the frames that are nearby, what have they shown? And then it will use that an input to generate new perspectives based on these frames. So instead of keeping all of these frames constantly in memory, it only needs to look up the frames that are around the region where you are right now, around the perspective where you want to actually look and then just take this as notes to generate new perspectives and new frames for your exploration. And this basically means you have endless memory and endless consistency for your exploration. So that is pretty amazing. Now, maybe another point you might be wondering here is why why not just generate the 3D objects and 3D perspectives and just keep that in a growing 3D world? Now, when we look at example videos like this, something you have to keep in mind is that this is not just about the 3D objects, because what you also need is, of course, a texture for the 3D object. But then the more complex part comes into play when you want to have all of the light and the shadow and the other effects happening in the world. And that can become really complex, especially Especially considering that not everything is just realistic like a video. You want to have different art styles and of course you want to have different light effects and different shadow effects and so on. Here in that case the AI is learning from the learning data from the learning videos to simulate these kind of effects. So basically you could prompt for any kind of art style, any kind of visual style and then can create consistency from that without the need of programming all these complex systems to generate that into a 3D engine. And that is actually the benefit of this. So this might be the future of video games or maybe even the first step into the direction of a holodeck. Let me know what you think in the comments about this. Try out the free demo. I think it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed that and see you soon. Bye.